Welcome everyone to the Kansas City Campus for Animal Care. This is such a thrilling day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you're all here and you've taken time out of your busy schedules on this very snowy morning to be with us or watching live on our Facebook page. Um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is Tori Fugate. I'm the Chief Communications Officer for KC Pet Project and I'm so excited to welcome you all to our beautiful new home. Um, unfortunately, due to weather, Governor Mike Parson, who was scheduled to be here, is unable to make it to Kansas City from Springfield. I spoke with the governor this morning and he wanted me to share a little bit of his remarks that he was going to give today. Um, coincidentally, my family has been friends with the governor for, and the first lady for many years and because of that friendship, he's been a devoted follower of our journey to get here today through the vote and through construction and to this moment. Uh, he's very excited for Kansas City to have this amazing <coughs> facility that will serve more than 10,000 pets a year and he wanted me to pass along his congratulations to the voters to the donors and the entire community at the opening of our campus. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started, shall we? So, joining us on stage, please welcome some of the best friends that we have of the Kansas City Campus for Animal Care. Teresa Johnson, CEO of Casey Pet Project. <laughs> Kansas City Mayor Pro Tem, Kevin McManus. Missouri Congressman Emanuel Cleaver. <laughs> Roshan Paris, co founder and board chair of Casey Campus for Animal Care. <laughs> and Cliff Illig, co founder of Cerner. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn the microphone over to our Master of Ceremonies for this historic day, Casey Campus for Animal Care Board of Directors Vice Chair. Christy Wyatt. Well, thank you, Tori. And it is just so wonderful to see you all out there. Um, thank you for being here this morning. You know, we have been weather challenged in this process. <laughs> in June of 2018, we broke ground somewhere here and um, we were dodging tornadoes. And then through the winter, the marvelous team at Grand Construction was challenged with uh, ice and mud and snow and still finished ahead of time. And then here we are today, but the good news is the snow uh, stopped long enough for everyone to get here safely. And it's living proof that Midwestern weather is not gonna stop this wonderful project. So thank you very much for being here. So I'm Christy Wyatt, and I am the vice chair of KCCAC. Uh, we're thrilled today to dedicate this special place, Kansas City Campus for Animal Care, and the new home of the Kansas City Pet Project. It has been my honor and pleasure to work with our board chair and our leader, Rashan Paris, a fabulous construction team, uh, grand construction, the incredible team of the Kansas City Pet Project and all the volunteers, the citizens of KCMO, who voted overwhelmingly in 2017 to join the philanthropic community to fund this construction. And so, so many of you here today turning a need with a dream into reality. So let's get on with the program. This KCAC facility is a city-owned, KCMO-owned building located here in beautiful Spoke Park, administered by the Kansas City Parks Department. Thanks to the Park Department, along with Director Terry Reinard and her, pre and her predecessor, Mark McHenry, both of whom are here today. Thanks to KCMO, including Ernest Rouse, Acting City Manager, and Troy Schulte, who couldn't be with us today, former City Manager, who our team met with monthly for a long, long time. <laughs> also, Tammy Queen, the City's Finance Director, uh, her predecessor, Randy Landis, and the Neighborhood and Housing Services Department of KCMO led by John Wood and the Animal Control Team. It's really been something working with the city and we have dealt with so many different departments through this journey and the partnership is as strong, I think, as it can possibly be at this point. And we are very proud of that and the city should be as well. Now, a very special, special thank you to our dear friend, Councilwoman Teresa Lohr, Second District at large. 
Teresa cares deeply, deeply about the city's neglected, abandoned, and homeless animals and has been unwavering in her support and leadership for what we're celebrating today. I can't tell you how many times we had to go to Teresa to get something done or some problem solved, and she always did it. As, As you know, we're located here in Swope Park in the heart of the 5th Councilmanic District. We're most appreciative to the two council persons from the 5th District Councilman Lee Barnes, Jr., and Councilwoman Raina Parks Shaw, who have both been very, very supportive of the project and have engaged in reaching out to their constituents, our neighbors here in the 5th District, to welcome them to our new home and encourage their involvement. Councilman Barnes cannot be with us this morning, but I'm pleased to welcome Councilwoman Parks Shaw to the stage. Good morning, everyone. It is such a privilege to be here with you today. And I'll tell you, when I saw the snow coming down this morning, I thought, man, are we going to really have a good turnout or not? So I, I appreciate the fact that everyone uh, found, made this a priority to be here today. Um, it has already been mentioned, uh, some of the hard work that uh, my colleagues have, have done. I personally want to recognize Councilwoman Teresa Lohr as well. Um, and Councilman Lee Barnes, uh, as she stated, is not able to be here today, but he says he's here in spirit and uh, really wanted to, me to convey his commitment to continue to work forward, move forward with this engagement. Um, you know, this has been a, a long journey to get to this day. Uh, this project is a successful example of how public-private pro partnerships can work. With the support from the city and all the different uh, city staff and departments, and the residents and the private funding, we were able to complete this project uh, and ultimately establish an innovative uh, model, not just for the city, but for the country. During this journey, Councilman Barnes and my former uh, council, and our former councilwoman, Alicia Kennedy, assisted KC Pet Project with their community outreach. Uh, together, they facilitated fifth district residents through community meetings and agreed to donate uh, the, and assisted with the donation of the nearly 19 acres of land uh, that this sits on. And as the new councilwoman for the 5th District, I am committed to continue to work within our committee, within our community with KC Pet Project to ensure that we can continue to move forward. And I'll be honest, I have a, a rescue uh, pet named EJ. I look forward to bringing EJ here for services as well. So thank you. And of course, I'm wearing my red, I have to say, go Chiefs. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. So we have seen, all of us involved in this project have seen firsthand what it takes to run a place like this. And believe me, it's not easy. Kansas City, Missouri, and the region are so very fortunate to have Teresa Johnson as Kansas City's Pet Project's president, CEO, and chief life-saving officer. She's a nationally recognized animal shelter professional who leads an incredible team at KC Pet Project. Teresa, Tori Fugate, and Chad Ackerman were involved in every aspect of the design of this building with HNTB, and they've implemented the best practices from across the country. She has a cool and calm demeanor, always, she is a competitive runner, which she does for fun. I was going to say, I, I was going to make her a half marathon runner, but I found out she's a little bit, a little bit less than a half marathon. Um, she's always accessible and most of all is committed to the humane care of the animals here and finding them a forever home. We are so lucky to have her. Please welcome Teresa Johnson. Thank you all so much. For the past eight years, KC Pet Project has been caring for our city's most vulnerable population of animals. And despite the challenges we faced in a nearly 50-year-old facility, I'm proud to tell you that we have saved the lives of nearly 66,000 animals that have passed through our doors. One animal in need. Thank you. 66,000 of them, one of them being Roadrunner that's here today, who's the namesake of our Roadrunner Medical Fund. <laughs> this new facility 
will forever be a game changer for both people and animals in Kansas City. For the first time ever, we have a state-of-the-art building in our city designed specifically to help people and pets and support progressive life-saving programs. We included cutting-edge technology throughout the building that I frankly have not seen in any other animal shelter that will maximize educational opportunities for our entire community with a focus on sharing the messages of kindness and caring for pets and help every pet that arrives feel comfortable and find new homes more quickly. We have designed every inch of this building use, using the best practices in fear-free sheltering design to help each species of animal feel safe and comfortable while in our care. Our new veterinary clinic is second to none and will allow us to expand critically needed veterinary services to our community's underserved pets that frankly we were never able to provide in our previous facility. Our cutting edge vet clinic and our progressive life-saving programs using our solutions not excuses approach will continue to attract and retain the best talent in the U.S. as we continue to be a nationally recognized model program for municipal animal shelters across the country. In my opinion, there isn't a finer facility in this country. And we are so grateful to everyone here today that helped us make this dream become a reality for tens of thousands of pets and people in our community. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to bring someone up for a special introduction. Joining us on stage is our good friend and KCCAC board member, Steve Doyle. So if you look carefully, you'll see Roshan surprised for the first time ever. <laughs> you can't be in control of everything. <laughs> so thank you, Teresa, and everyone who was here before me. I think we would all agree that there is a big difference between a vision and reality. This morning, we are standing in a glorious reality. It has been said that visionaries not only believe that the impossible can be done, but that it must be done. And that, in one short sentence, describes our friend and colleague, Roshan Paris. Visions also require passionate, committed, tireless, persuasive, persistent, <laughs> and in this case, charismatic leaders who know how to bring people, talent, resources, and energy together to make the impossible possible. And that too describes Roshan. Roshan and a dear friend had a shared vision of a shelter, a home that animals deserved, a welcoming place that would fulfill our responsibility to take care of the lost, forgotten, abused, and abandoned animals in our city and connect them with loving families and forever homes, a place that Kansas City could be proud of. And here we are, and aren't we indeed proud? There are many people to thank today. Many, many, many people to thank today, but none more deserving than the co-founder and chairman of the Kansas City Campus for Animal Care, who for nearly years led a journey that brought us to this place. Ladies and gentlemen, and pet lovers everywhere, the godmother to every animal in this building, <laughs> Roshan Paris. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't do well when I'm not in control. And when I saw him get up, it's like, what's happening? They're not following the run of show. That took my breath away. Um, thank you. And thank you all so much for being here um, on such a crazy, challenging morning. I see so many faces of people who I will, uh, some of whom I will mention, but every single one of you, every single one of you who is here today, whether we have had the chance to meet and hug or not, has a heart that I want to know. That's the reason you're here. And we know that about each and every person who is here. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. You are what it's all about. 
So, welcome to the house that love built. Exactly eight years and 85 days ago today, Adele Hall and I walked into the chamber boardroom, having assembled some of the best minds and hearts in Kansas City to solve what was clearly a crisis at the city's animal shelter. Days and weeks of meetings turned into months and years, and while Adele quietly took her leave on that journey, she left her handprint on the heart of animal welfare in Kansas City forever. <laughs> on that journey, Christy Wyatt quickly stepped in to bring her years of wisdom at City Hall, and I gained a wise and passionate co-chair of the campaign to raise the woof for Kansas City. We forged a public-private partnership to build a shelter that wasn't just a baseline substitute for the long-condemned warehouse on Raytown Road. Instead, we sought to find the resources to build something we hoped we could, would become a best-in-class animal welfare campus. Today, we are gathered here in what we can now say is the most state-of-the-art municipal animal shelter in America. <clears throat> It represents, it represents the very best of Kansas City and of each and every one of you. It weaves a narrative of generosity, of humility, of passion, and of the power of what happens when people all across our community decide they don't care who gets the credit, they just care about getting something awesome done. Today is our Academy Awards of Gratitude, and I'm gonna try to compress eight years of intense, exhilarating, game-changing moments into as few words as possible to communicate our passionate gratitude for the work of so many. So here we go. To Mayor James, Troy Schulte, Randy Landis, Tammy Queen, and Terry Schmidt, simply put, we would not be here today but for your years-long patient support and problem-solving commitment. We couldn't be more grateful and pledge lifelong supply of Raise the Wolf cookies. <laughs> it got us through a lot of difficult meetings. To Mayor Lucas, we thank you for being so awesomely present on this project over so many years and for sending us someone who also was very awesomely present in the Mayor Pro Tem, Kevin McManus. We miss you today, Mr. Mayor, amidst travel, but we will never forget your KCPD-led motorcade and Brittany's, Brittany's led motorcade to transfer our animals from our old shelter to our new home. To our first city council advocates, Teresa Lohr and Jolie Justice, thank you for bringing your whatever it takes a passion to this project. You rolled up your sleeves on the GeoBond campaign and every moment thereafter, because of your efforts, we are here today. We are also so grateful to your fellow council members who have given us the unforgettable memory of multiple unanimous votes. To Casey Parks directors, Mark McHenry and Terry Reinard, you both showed up and continue to show up in ways that have changed animal welfare in our region forever. We're proud to live in Swope Park, and we look forward to being great neighbors to our friends at the zoo. Randy, thank you for being here. To Starlight, Rich, are you around? Um, and to our Lakeside Nature Center neighbors right across the street. To Grand Construction, our very first generous partner on this journey, thank you for building an iconic campus that you brought in not on time, not on budget, but ahead of schedule and under budget. It was extraordinary. And that's that special thanks to Rory, Chad, and Chris, and four words for, for the three of you, you're simply the best. To the h and team, to Chris, to Katie, to David, and so many of your colleagues who have touched this project, we knew you were designing something special. Even so, we had no idea it would be this good, this functional, this game-changing. You did it, and we are in awe. To the incredibly generous Pulsinelli team, including Russ, Chase, Pat, Virginia, Alicia, John, Maheen, Roxon, Pia Mia, Lisa, and Danielle, your support has exceeded every expectation. You paved our way in more ways than we can count. In eight years, have never sent us a bill yet, <laughs> which is why our team is proud to walk across Polsonelli Plaza each day as we enter the campus forevermore. That's okay, go ahead and clap.
Our colleagues at UMB and Commerce forged a partnership that embodied the essence of community spirit when they joined together to provide us with a construction loan. Jim and Kevin, your teams have defined a new standard for customer support, and we couldn't be more grateful for your support. Our Willoughby Design colleagues knocked it out of the park, and Megan, Nicole, and their team created our Take Our Breath Away branded elements for the campus that have come to live in, in living color, come to life in living color all around us, as you can see. Thank you, Willoughby, for molding our hopes and dreams into such a thing of beauty. The Petco Foundation, for their long-standing and incredible game-changing inspiration and support, and to family foundations within this room and all across the community with the names of Hall, Illig, Sunderland, Quinn, Dunn, Kemper, Pryor, Patterson, Sherman and Graves, and many others, there can be no question you gave us the chance to create a best-in-class campus. It simply would not have happened without you. Sharon Garten. You get your own shout out because you know and I know that you were the original inspiration. You were the nudger in chief. Don't ever forget we are here because of your relentless passion. Keep it up. We need you. To our friends at the Kaufman Foundation, Wendy, Kathleen, and Larry, and so many others, thank you for believing in our mission and for helping us make this grand opening such an especial day. And to Jan Kramer, thank you for being a true lighthouse in ways you'll never admit or acknowledge over these past eight years. To Bill Hall for your guidance from day one. And to Margie, Sarah, Rebecca, and little Adele, in you, I have had the joy of feeling the presence of your mother, your grandmother, and your great-grandmother, and that has inspired us in more ways than we can ever express. <laughs> to our amazing, remarkable partners at Casey Pet Project, Teresa, Lisa, Tori, Chad, Gale, and so many others, three words in two sets say it all. You are extraordinary, and we are family. We honor your work every minute of every single day. To four people who were there from the very beginning, Christy, Steve Doyle, Ryan Holmes, and my husband, Jeff Dobbs, for your tireless relentlessness, your passion, and your belief that no mountain is too high, Kansas City is forever in your debt, as am I. And finally, <laughs> and finally, Every godmother needs a godfather. And I was lucky enough to get one who doesn't know the meaning of the words, not possible. <laughs> he single-handedly changed the mindset of this project by rolling up his sleeves time and time again and helping all of us understand the art of what is truly possible. It's my great pleasure to introduce Cliff Illig. So, Roshan, thank you very much. Um, you're incredibly kind and um, you know, I think everybody in this room uh, recognizes the, uh, the contribution, the warmth, and uh, the love that you've contributed to all this. You know, Bonnie and I and our family uh, consider a privilege to have joined you and met so many of the others on the eight plus year journey and adventure that has brought us all together today. Our family is here representing the large number of private, civic-minded investors and donors who, along with the leadership of the city of Kansas City, Missouri, have been caught up in the KC Pet Project's mission. In the magnetic importance of the Kansas City Campus for Animal Care for our community, and in, a, in the unbridled energy that has defined this project since the very start. We couldn't be more pleased to have had the opportunity to combine our time and capital resources with those of so many others intent on making even a small contribution to moving this project to the completed environment that you all see around you today. It's my experience that all signature transformational projects start with a great vision. Steve said it well, a vision that embodies that impassioned, vivid, future state description of a special place right here in Kansas City that establishes a new world-class 
standard for high performance animal shelters up against any other anywhere. Since the beginning, the vision here has been clear and it has been compelling. Early on, I personally had a special opportunity with this Kansas City Pet Project team to travel to animal shelters around the country and to see firsthand how others had tackled this challenge. As a group, we were able to study and benefit from the best examples of unique ideas, facility designs, and gold standard operational models developed by others. It is now evident that our architects, the construction teams, and the KC Pet Projects management team are exceptional in how they use the array of best lessons learned around the country to finalize the plans for what this building now has become. Now, as someone that knows just a little bit about great venues here and elsewhere, I can tell you that this facility, with its resolute focus on end-to-end -end design and attention to detail, will become the exemplar for world-class animal shelters that others will try to try to emulate in the future. <laughs> so, Roshan, your civic partners and investors want to add our congratulations to you and Teresa and to the Kansas City Campus for Animal Care's outstanding design and construction team, including the hundreds of subcontractors, artisans, and craftsmen that created what we all see here today and to the great leaders, volunteers, and staff of KC Pet Project that will make us all proud to be part of this endeavor well, well into the future. Please accept our respect, our appreciation, and our congratulations. <laughs> Finally, as I wrap up, I'm reminded of the heartfelt story that Roshan has told so many times where the quiet but iconic Adele Hall said it so perfectly and so emphatically. She said, we are a vastly more meaningful region if we can be good at meeting not only our two-legged needs, but those of our four-legged family members as well. Thank you, Casey Pet Project, for all that you do for Kansas City. Thank you, Cliff and Roshan. That was, those were just wonderful words. Um, it is now my honor to introduce Mayor Pro Tem, Kevin McManus, who represents the 6th District. He is also a member of the Finance, Governance, and Public Safety Committee. Kevin has enthusiastically supported this project for years. He cares deeply about animal wel welfare, second only to his wife, Alex, right? <laughs> Great stories about what Alex has done to save critters in, uh, in, their, in, their, in their region. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Pro Tem, Kevin McManus. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I, I feel like I have a very difficult task, not just of filling in for our mayor. Uh, I'm obviously not Quentin Lucas, if you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, it's always difficult to do that. I know, because I know in my heart that he would want to be here and want to be speaking where I am right now in support of this project, as he has on so many different occasions. Um, it's also difficult to follow such wonderful remarks that we've heard from everybody here um, and to stand here in front of all of you who are each one of you a very passionate advocate for not just this project but for its mission. Um, but I'll do my best. Um, I think my role here really is just to say thank you. Thank each and every one of you for what you have done in allowing us to move this project forward and to extend that thanks on behalf of all the members of the Kansas City, Missouri City Government and Organization, many of them whom are here. We recognize some of my colleagues, Teresa Lohr, Raina Park Shaw. We didn't recognize Andrea Boo, my sixth district colleague. I want to recognize her, but also mention that she actually texted me as I was coming here, asked me if we could adopt a council animal. <laughs> We're still working through the, I'm not committing to anything. But her heart's in the right place, too. This is one, this animal campus is one of the most significant projects for our city in the last decade. And I say that not just because of the money that was invested, both publicly and privately, but more importantly, what it represents when we work together. When I say working together, I mean not just the city working together, but with 
the private sector, with our foundations, our families here in town, but with the nonprofit, with KC Pet Project and its really expertise in this area. But I just want you to take a moment and just close your eyes. And if you ever went to the facility in Raytown, imagine it, okay? And then open them and look up. It's really incredible. If you just think about how far we've come. And I think first and foremost, I'd like to thank the voters of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, the voters in 2017 overwhelmingly supported an $800 million GEO bond capital improvement program. Question three on that campaign included funds for this shelter. It passed overwhelmingly and it allowed the city to really commit to forging the partnership with the private sector and those who we've discussed today to not just improve the services here but more broadly to improve the city throughout our, our entire area in terms of infrastructure, flood control. It was a transformational vote for the city and this project is a signature part of that vote. KC Pet Project continues to set the bar so high in terms of successful sheltering programs and initiatives. I know from my time on the council that they have a proven track record with over eight years of work here in our city and this project is gonna allow us to expand and really grow that partnership to a new level. This facility brings Kansas City to the forefront of animal shelter design, as has already been said and as you can just see, but really more importantly, what you can't see are the programs and initiatives that are gonna be happening here and that have already started. And I don't just mean programs for adoption and lost and found animal services, but really cutting edge veterinary support and humane education. All these things help put Kansas City on the map and on the top of the list nationally in terms of sheltering programs. So I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here. I wanna thank, as Mayor Pro Tem, I wanna thank our city employees, mm -hmm. each and every one of you who have made this possible. And that doesn't just include the folks who are elected, it includes, or the folks in the administration who have more departmental higher roles, it includes every single level of the department from a neighborhood and housing services, our animal health and public safety officers, the employees, and all those who are making this partnership work. This is the beginning. It's a really amazing beginning to a really, a, a, what I think will be a wonderful long-term partnership that will make a difference in our city for generations to come. So thank you all for being here, and I just wanna wish you all well and let you know that we are committed to this partnership and we will we'll be committed to making sure it is, success, it, it is a success in the future. Thank you. So I want to make a very special shout out to two tall guys over there. You can all see them. One is taller than the other. <laughs> the one with the beard, uh, the very stylish beard, by the way, John, is John McGurk. And John has been with us from day one when he was chief of staff with the mayor. He helped us so much. And uh, he, has since, he, he, he has since joined our board. And he is the treasurer on our executive committee of KCCAC. And, the treasurer of our organization. The, the next guy to him, who's even taller, is needs no introduction, that Danny O'Neill, Roastery. And you see behind Danny this fabulous facility that I hope you all have had a cup of coffee. Uh, I know we're the only animal shelter in the country with a first class or any kind of a coffee shop. So there was a lot of effort and thought that went into this, and Danny and his team were with us all the way. So thank you to both of you. Okay. Okay, we're starting to wrap up here, but saving always the best to last. From the very start, Congressman Emanuel Cleaver has been keenly interested in this project and has had the opportunity to witness on a week-by-week -week basis the work that went into creating this impressive building. He and Diane live nearby. With the boss of their home, their large and rambunctious, I understand very large and very rambunctious pooch, Gabriel. That's a, that's a good name, that's a good name. Emmanuel has been a game changer for Kansas City for years and years, serving our community as first as reverend, then as councilman, then as mayor, and now is our United States representative from the 5th Congressional District. He practices and he promotes civility everywhere he goes and is highly regarded by his peers in the United States Congress. Virtually everyone here at home considers him 
a first name kind of friend. We're honored that he made it down the street to be with us <laughs> at this important event this morning. Please welcome Congressman Emanuel Cleaver. I live three minutes from here, uh, <laughs> but uh, someone called me this, this morning uh, to ask if I would have coffee with them. Uh, and I said, well, I've got an event. And they said, well, are you talking about the opening uh, of the pet project? And I said, yes. And they said, well, they're probably going to cancel that. I said, you don't know Christy and Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, and that says it all. I mean, uh, these are two people who, if they get into something, uh, they're going to make it happen. There are probably folk out here who know them and know them well, so you know that's, that's a fact. When you go to Ro Roshan's house, Roshan and Jeff's house, you uh, will often be greeted by their uh, fuzzy, uh, I guess, roommates uh, and <laughs> children. Uh, and they also, if, if it's at a party, they will also attend. Uh, uh, but I, I, um, I, I, I stood up and debated when we went through the funding a few months ago for the, uh, NI, the National Institute of Health. And a lot of people were objecting to the funding because a great deal of money was going into studying the relationship between animals and people. And there are probably some who said, that's a, that's a stupid waste of our money. Until you look at the fact that 68% of people in the United States are living with a pet. And on top of that, elementary research already shows that there is an impact on human beings when they have an animal. Somebody who is there under all conditions and who just, all they want is for you to love them. And so I, I am proud that we, we, we were able to argue and eventually get that money put in the budget. I think it's, it's money that will be well spent. Um, and so I, I, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Roshan and uh, Christy, uh, and, and say thank you to my longtime friend for, of over, uh, my longtime friend, uh, <laughs> Teresa Lohr, uh, and, uh, I, and those of you who have been so supportive of this project. Um, I, I will be brief, but I, I do need to tell you uh, that I have a, a, a cousin uh, who lives in Texas, and he told me that one morning he was awakened by noise. He went to the front porch and there's a dog sitting on the, uh, on the front porch with a newspaper, his newspaper. And he had never seen the dog before, uh, so he went and got a, a wiener out of the refrigerator and gave it to the dog and the dog dropped the newspaper. And uh, the next morning, there were two dogs with two newspapers. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and so uh, he, he realized that that you know now his the word was being spread uh, about and frankly that's what I hope all of you will will understand about what's happened here. Look, um, Kansas City is is making it, and and sometimes maybe slower than you would like, but slowly but surely. All of the things that will make this, uh, this city uh, one of the greatest cities in the country in the future are taking place. I mean, slowly but surely. And, and this is one of them. Just think about this. There is no other animal shelter that you can visit anywhere on planet Earth where there's a coffee shop <laughs> and a fireplace on a patio <laughs> Now, look, now listen, this is big time. I, I, I hope all of you understand. This is not just some little animal shelter. I mean, this is a pet project. And it's in Kansas City, Missouri, one of the greatest cities that has ever organized. And we're not just great here, we're great in everything, whether it's, uh, whether it's the plaza or, or whether it's our jazz. This is a great city. We have great people with great minds. And all you have to do is turn on in two weeks to the Kansas City Chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome Billboard chart-topping international recording artist, 
and star of Broadway's Hairspray, Wicked, and Waitress, Miss Shoshana Bean. <laughs> Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I am a pet mommy. Uh, I came here yesterday just for sound check, and I found myself within five to ten minutes back there in, uh, in the kennels, Googling how long it takes to drive from Kansas City to Los Angeles, <laughs> checking out rental car prices, because I was like, you're coming home, you're coming home. Do you want to come to LA and live with me? And this one little girl, she barked and put her paw on the glass, and I was like, that's it. She's, I have to, how will I get back? She's not my service animal yet, so I got to get her home. Anyway, uh, I really was considering buying a farm and just taking them all and letting them run free. This place is magical. I'm honored to be here. Um, I agree with, I'm, I'm not sure who it was because I was sitting back here, but someone said that this would be sort of the blueprint uh, for, for um, pet centers across the nation. And I hope that that is in fact the case because what's happening here is truly beautiful. Uh, with that said, hopefully I can get through this song. <laughs> Look at what I'm giving. This beautiful creation, the sweet intoxication, something pure in my life. Look at all these changes, yet the light now shines within. darkness left to you I never knew this form of love existed yet deep inside of me is where it all begins so hold me in your heart is your protect you for always never feel alone but I'll always be with you a home is where the heart is meant to be mm -hmm. you'll always have a home inside of me And we will walk this road together. I'll shelter you from burdens. Just lean your weight on me. Storms may bridge the distance, but you will always have a home here, right here inside my protect you for always and never feel alone for I'll always be with you a home is where the heart is meant to be mm -hmm. oh you'll always have a home inside of me So hold me in, key change. Your heart is your left mine forever. And when you lay inside my arms, I'll 
protect you for 